Welcome to our lecture online. Now that we know what conditional probability is, we're ready to revisit the basic multiplication rules. We have what we call the general multiplication rule and the special multiplication rule. And it has to do with whether or not the events are dependent or independent. Let's first look at the dependent events. If there's two events and they're dependent on one another, then the outcome of one will affect the probability of the outcome of the other. So therefore, when we then look at the probability of both A and B occurring, and I think I'm missing an D there, so there we go, and B occurring, that is equal to the product of the probability of B times the probability that A will occur given that B has occurred. So we have to take that into account because the probability that A will occur does depend upon the outcome of B. So it's going to be the probability of B times the probability that A will occur given that B has occurred. But if the events are independent, like this, then the outcome of one does not depend on the outcome of the other. Then we can say that the probability of A and B is simply the product of the probability of B times the probability of A. Of course, we can interchange the order of those. And of course, you can see that, that the probability of a, uh, that the probability that A will occur given that B has occurred, that is equal to the probabil probability of A if there are independent events. So since this is equal to this in the case of independent events, we can simply replace this by this, and then we can see that the probability of A and B is simply the product of the probability of A and the probability of B. And so keep that in mind, this is how we look at the general and the special uh, multiplication rules when we're dealing with the probability of A and B in the case of dependent and in the case of independent events. And that is how it's done.